We're back! We're back with more! Now it's time for something a little sweet. We're having dessert. I had some bananas today that were starting to look brown, and the minute they look brown, I know it's all over. My intended hope of using them for smoothies. Thank you, Lair. You got too much light. Oh, I'm right here in the spotlight of my kitchen. Uh, you have those bananas, you know, you want, you have high hopes. Maybe you're gonna make smoothies, whatever, or eat them, and they start turning brown. This is a great recipe to use up bananas, because I made today a spiced banana poppy seed cake. And right now I'm gonna show you how to make a simple glaze for this cake. It has a nice dark brown color, and I'm gonna have the recipe, of course, online. Um, super easy to make, I used three bananas. But anyway, you buy powdered sugar, it comes in this bag, this is a pain to deal with. So, another reason I use these mason jar caps, <clears throat> which you can find at bocafitted.com, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this is about two cups of confectioner's sugar, and this is gonna be our glaze. This is a pretty, you know, standard way to make glaze. It might seem like a lot of powdered sugar, but it's not. Because we're gonna add some liquid to it, and you don't wanna add too much liquid or it'll be very runny. We want a little bit of a thicker, and I'm, I'm choosing vanilla. I think the vanilla will go really well with the banana. And I'm gonna start with two, and I know it's not 100% natural, but I'm putting a little bit of yellow food coloring since it is banana. All right, and then you just whisk that. And it'll start to come together. I'm making a little bit of a mess with it, but that's all right. All right, and we're gonna add a little bit more liquid. And you kind of just got to eyeball it until it gets to the consistency that you like. So three seem to do the trick. Again, tonight we're in front of a live studio audience. I have friends here. I got company tonight. I'm going to add more yellow food coloring just for, you know, shits and giggles. All right, and now we're going to glaze our banana cake. And then we're going to slice into it. So I'm just gonna pour this over. And you wanna let it sit for a minute, but I'm gonna slice it right away to show you. And that is some sweetness. The cake itself is not super sweet, so if you did not wanna use the glaze, you do not have to. Um, if you wanted something a little bit less sweet, but this glaze is good stuff. Whoops, the little powdered sugar there. And that's about it. All right, let me get a plate. <clears throat> We're gonna slice this baby. Yeah, roll that beautiful cake footage there. And again, super easy recipe. Um, real easy to do. I'm missing a spatula. We'll use this. All right, so let's just slice into this. And there you have your poppy seed, spiced banana poppy seed cake in a bunt pan. And the reason I like using a bunt pan, I especially like the silicone one, is because then you can just cover it back up and save it for your guests that come tomorrow for coffee in the morning. So if anybody wants to meet me for coffee, come on down. I'm home tomorrow. All right, that's it for this week with Cooking Live. Hope everyone enjoyed, and stay tuned for the recipes. I already typed them up. I'll be pushing the button tonight so that you can make this stuff for your summer picnics, for Memorial Day, or just for yourself to sit at home and eat uh, by yourself or with friends and family. Ciao.